Hello, Geraldine here from Navin Libraries. Are you ready to make a fire engine? OK, let's start. So as you can see, I have a large egg box here and I have taken off some of the sticky paper from the top and the sides. So you don't need to go all the way across the top, just a small portion. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to count in two notches. One, two. Then we're going to take our pencil and we're going to draw a line just after the two notches. And then we're going to get our ruler and we're going to draw across the top. Just a straight line. And then down onto the other side like that. And then we're going to open out our egg box and we're going to take our scissors, flip the egg box over and we're just going to cut along the black line. So just as straight as you can. All the way down to the end. And then we need to cut along this line here. Now I'm just maneuver that out there. And then we need to cut this piece off here. And we're just leaving a little piece just to coincide with the top piece here. So once you've got all the cutting done, you can see that the fire engine is starting to take shape. So I think it's time we start to paint. Now I'm going to paint my fire engine red, but of course you can paint your fire engine any colour you like. So just to start, we wet our brush and get some paint. And it's best if you start down the bottom here and start painting on the outside like this. So this really doesn't take that long to dry because the box itself is quite porous. So just work your way all along until you get to the other side. And then you can start painting the top. And then when you finish that, you can paint all of the inside. When you're finished your fire engine, it should look something like this. So we leave the engine to one side to dry and we'll get on with the next step. So that's to paint our wheels. So I'm using large white bottle tops for the wheels. And I'm going to paint them blue, but again, you can paint them any color you like. So I'm just putting some paint on the brush and we paint all along the sides as well. And across the top. So this can get a little bit messy, but that's okay because the paint will wash off. So just make sure you get it all down along the sides like that. So we're going to use 10 of these for the wheels and we'll stick them on later when they dry. Now we're going to need some lights for the top of the fire engine as well. So I'm going to use smaller bottle tops for that. Yeah. So these are our small bottle tops. So again, I'm going to paint those blue, but you can use any color you like. And again, I'm going to do down the sides as well as the top. And you're going to need two of these. Just 
and again we'll place these aside until they dry. While I'm waiting for the fire engine to dry, we'll carry on and make some decorations. So for this, you're going to need some yellow card or paper. If you don't have yellow card or paper, you can always colour in some white paper with your crayons or pencils. So we take a ruler and we measure in one centimetre from the top of the page and just go right the way across to the end of the paper and just keep measuring in one centimetre. And then when you have that done, you just draw a line across the top of the page. And then get your scissors and just lift the paper and cut along the straight line. All the way to the end. So now you need two pieces of yellow card, about seven centimeters in length. So just get your ruler and measure in seven centimeters once and seven centimeters twice. And then just cut these two strips. Just like that. So now you're going to paint some stripes on your two strips of paper and we're going to give them red stripes. So again, just dip your paintbrush in your paint and just paint some diagonal red stripes on your paper, just like that, all the way down to the end. And we'll do the second one exactly the same way. So just diagonally like that. And these will go on top of your fire engine when it's dry. So our next step is to make some windows and some headlights for our fire engine. So take your sheet of blue card or paper and your ruler and measure in two centimetres from the top of the page and just make a little mark just all the way along to the end. Just like that. And then get your ruler and just draw a line right to the end. Now we need to cut out our strip of blue paper. So you can just cut along the line right to the end. Just like that. Very good. And now we need to measure our strip of paper. So just get your ruler again and just lay it down and measure in two lengths of four centimetres. So measure in one, that's four centimetres, and the second length, another four centimetres. And then we need two centimetres and measure again another two centimetres. And finally, a seven centimetres and make a little mark. And then when you have that done, you just need to cut the strips where you have made the mark. So we have our four centimetres 
and our four centimeters and our two centimeters, our two centimeters and finally our seven centimeters. To make the headlights, we take a sheet of yellow card and our ruler and this time we measure again from the top one centimetre and make our mark all the way along to the end just as we did for the windows. And then we draw a line. And we measure in one centimetre and one centimetre. And take your scissors and cut our strip right to the end again. That's it. And then just where you have the two little marks, cut off your two headlights, just like that. I think our fire engine is dry now, so we can start to decorate. So you remember the yellow strips we did earlier. So if we just take some glue and run it along the back of the strip and stick it on top of the cab of the fire engine, just like that. And we get our second strip and run some glue along the back again. And stick it down like so. Now it's time to put on the lights. So these are the little yellow ones we did earlier. Just take your glue and put a little bit on the back. And your lights just go on the front, just about here. And stick them down. And the second one, a little bit of glue on the back. And just stick it down like so. We can attach our windows now. Just take your little blue square, the smaller one, and put some glue on the back again and just attach it to the side like so. And then the next size, just for the other window, some glue on the back and just stick it beside the smaller window like that. And then we can do the same on the other side. And then the bigger strip is for the windscreen. So just put a little bit of glue on both sides of the back of that and just stick it here to the front like that. And just hold it for a second so it sticks. So our fire engine is really starting to take shape now. So the next thing we need to do is attach our wheels. So you remember our blue bottle tops? So we have the large ones and the small ones. So the large ones were for the wheels, if you remember. So you just take up your fire engine like so, and we're going to attach our bottle tops in the spaces here. So just take your glue and just put some glue just in the hollow there. And maybe a little bit down the sides as well. And then take one of your wheels and just attach it like that. And you might need to hold it for a few minutes just so that it sticks. And then you just work your way all the way down to the end.
Now we're ready to attach our lights to the top of the cab. So I've put some glue on the top here and maybe another little bit of glue on the bottle tops. These are the smaller bottle tops that we made earlier and just stick them down. Now you may need to hold them again for a few minutes. I'm using PVA glue for this because it tends to stick a little bit better. And again, we just put a second light on top like that and hold it down. Now we can make our fire hose and this is really easy. You just get your pipe cleaner and you wind it around your fingers just like this. And then you slide it off and just pull out one end and put it in the back of your fire engine. So the last thing we need to do is to make the ladder for the fire engine. So take a piece of white card and your ruler and measure in one centimeter from the top. So just make a little mark all along just to the end. And then you can draw a line just straight across to the end. And then just measure in four centimeters and make another little mark. And you need to do this six times. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you just take your scissors and cut along the straight line right to the end. And then where you made the little marks, you just cut out six pieces. And these are going to be for the rungs of the ladder. So that's three, four, oops, and five, and six. Then you get your two straws and you line them up evenly together like this. And you take your rungs that you've just made and you put a little piece of glue either end, just like that. And then you stick the rung down to the two straws, just like that. And you just work your way down and space them out until you get to the very end. Just like that. So when you finished the ladder, it should look like this. And then you just put your ladder in the back of your fire engine and that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed making our fire engine today. And if you'd like to share photos of your efforts, we'd love to see them. And maybe we put them on our Facebook page. Thanks for taking part. See you again. Slán.